Hey Faith family, it's Brother Mario. I wanted to go ahead and make a response video. I knew I would have to do this to my most recent video I just uploaded called Eagles Coach and Players Thanking Jesus God at Super Bowl 52. The reason I knew I would need to do this is because I pointed something out in this video, which I'll also leave linked up for you. The reason I lost so many subs on this YouTube channel, my Faith Family channel, and it has to do with the fact that the Christian truther community is obsessed with conspiratainment. They love being entertained by sensational things that the devil is doing. So much so that you can verify videos that are uploaded about um, God get very, very little views. But then the ones that are about blood sacrifices and Illuminati symbolism and this and that, which has a place, but has become an obsession, they get tons of traffic. You want to know why? Because lukewarm false Christians who know nothing of the Bible flock to those videos. They consume their daily lives with obsessing over what the enemy is doing till they're angry in their spirit. They no longer even produce the fruits of the spirit, gentleness, love, self-control. They're just raging because they're feeding their soul with what the enemy is doing. And they don't even know God's word because they watch tons and tons and tons of videos in, uh, on that instead of sermons, Bible studies, videos that glorify God. So this is the problem that we're dealing with in the YouTube truther community. What a joke that they don't even understand the truths of the Bible. Listen, I don't care how many truths you know about Satan. If you don't know the truth of the word, don't even call yourself a truther. What a shame uh, that, that people are doing this and adopting this mentality. I clearly showed in the scriptures, and let's go over it again here. It says, whether someone is preaching Jesus and giving God glory, and they have an ill intent in their heart, meaning they're a fake, they're a fraud, or they're doing it genuinely, Christ is proclaimed. Christ is still being proclaimed. And as the apostle, rejoice! Stop with the negative, Nancy, nonsense, always looking for evil. Your mind is warped and set on evil. I mean, look at these comments, okay, that have come in. Let's examine one. I'll show you exactly, and I knew it was going to come right away. Here is Brother Chris, and there's two people that like this nonsense so far. Nine minutes, two people, and there'll be a lot of people in this Christian truther community that are going to fall for this insanity. I'm skeptical. Of course you are, because you're constantly looking for evil everywhere. I don't believe anyone with a big platform on this world stage who makes millions and especially billions that only speaks of Christ to be sincere. Far too many frauds posing as such, but not genuine. There's some real people out there that follow Jesus, so he doesn't know. He has no idea. He's making uh, assumptions, okay? Uh, he has no idea that, that that is between them and God. But what is even... Listen, Chris and others, they probably are fake. I don't even know. Who cares? It doesn't matter. That's not the point. Follow the Bible. Follow the Bible. When Christ is proclaimed, do as the apostle and rejoice. You see Christ being proclaimed and you're all negative Nancy. Oh, that can't be real. No, do as it says in the Bible. Stop with your insanity. I, this is ridiculous. Rejoice. I made a video to rejoice over the fact that millions of people heard the name of Jesus being thanked for the eagle's win. Glory be to God and all praise to him. Hallelujah. Stop taking glory away from God with that negativity. Even if they do it from a wrong heart, Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, is to be rejoiced upon when he's glorified in public, whether they're a fake or they're real. You Christian truthers need to wake up and get to your Bible. Today, listen, faith family, if you're obsessed with conspiratainment, get into your word. There are people that are so obsessed in this movement with what the enemy is doing that this is the kind of mentalities that they have. And yes, I have a passion for this because this is insanity that we have a community like this that has gone so far away from God, so far away from his word, they don't even want to stand on his word. Instead of rejoicing as the Bible says when millions of people hear the name of Jesus being thanked, you want to be negative Nancy. Not in my faith family. I am rebuking all of you that have this behavior and heart in the name of Jesus who is to be proclaimed. And if I proclaim him from a pure heart, that's good. And if, if these people have proclaimed him from a false heart, rejoice anyway as the Bible commands you to. Have a blessed and wonderful day.